in this video we're going to create code in Excel VBA to check and see if a folder exists on our drive if it does not exist we want to go ahead and create that folder with a specific date name and then save a section of our worksheet as a PDF to that folder so what you see here is a preview of what we're going to build today in columns A through C I have my raw data which consists of just orders for the month of February in this middle section here I have formulas that summarize this data by date and in this cell here I have a formula that pulls the maximum date from our raw data because this cell here will be our folder name and our file name whatever date is in here the max date so on my drive I have a path that contains folder names of days of the month and what we want to do here is check to see if our max date here which will be our folder name already exists out here if it doesn't exist we want to go ahead and create a folder with that date name and then save this section here as a PDF to that folder so you can see right now my max date is February 2012 and currently the max folder I have here is February 11th so this when I run this button here we should get a folder created with the 12th with this data saved to that folder and there it is if I go into it you can see we get a file PDF file with our summarized data there so the first thing we want to do is get into the VBA editor window you can do that by hitting alt F11 anywhere in this project window I'm gonna right click go to insert in the module we'll call this subroutine check folders and we'll begin with our variables so the first variable is going to be called WB it's going to be as the data type workbook represents the workbook we're in now the next variable is going to be called WS it's out of the data type worksheet and it's going to represent the sheet we're on now we're going to have a variable called RNG as the data type range and this just represents the range of cells we want to save as a PDF we're going to have a variable called folder path and that represents the path the main path where our date folders are housed so this is going to be as the data type string and then we have a final variable called folder name and that is also going to be as the data type string and that just represents the max date value here that is going to end up being our file name and our folder name as well so we need to define our variables so we'll begin with our object variables our workbook worksheet and range and they need to begin with the keyword set because they're objects so our workbook variable is going to be equal to this workbook our worksheet variable is going to be equal to our workbook variable we just created and then worksheets and the name of our sheet is called orders our range variable is going to be equal to our worksheet and then range and the beginning of our range is G4 this is the range we want to save here and we want something dynamic so we're gonna reference the beginning cell of that range and then use the current region because that will get all the adjacent cells we have our folder path variable and this is 
just going to be this main path here that contains our date folders and this is a string it needs to be enclosed in double quotes and the final thing I want to do here is add a slash onto the end of this because we're eventually going to join our file name variable to the end of this to get the full path for our folder. So our folder name variable, which this variable will house both our folder name and our file name of our PDF is going to be equal to whatever the max date is in cell H4 here. So we want to format that date in the same format that these folders are here. So that's a four digit year, two digit month, two digit day. So we're going to use the format function and the first input is what we want to format. Well, that's going to be our cell H4. Value and then the second input is the format we want that in. Well, we want four digit year, two digit month, two digit day. So now what we want to do is perform a test to see if our folder date name does not exist. If it does not exist, we want to create a folder in that particular path. So we're going to use an if statement and we're going to use the directory function and the first input for the directory function is our path name so that is going to be a combination of our folder path and folder name so we're going to begin with our folder path use the and symbol to join it to our folder name variable and then for the second input we need to use directory because we're checking to see if this is out in our directory if it is not there which if it's not there it would be an empty string it would return an empty string I should say so that would be two double quotes then we want to create it and to create a path we need to use the make directory function so that has simply one input which is the path so that it, again is going to be the combination of these two variables here are folder path and the name so now what we want to do once this folder is created is save our range as a PDF to this folder so we're going to reference our range variable and then export as fixed format and now I have a few parameters to this export as fixed format I need to define and I want to do each one of them on a separate line of code to make it look a little neater so to continue this on a new line I'm gonna hit space and underscore the first parameter I want to define is the type that is gonna be Excel type PDF I'm gonna add a comma for my next parameter space underscore for a new line the next parameter is the file name so that is going to be equal to our file path and file name again now this these two items combined are actually the path of the folder we need to give the PDF a file name so I need to add another and symbol here and add a backslash so we'll do that and then another and symbol and I'm gonna reference our I keep calling it file name but it's folder name really but it's really 
serves two purposes, both the folder name and the file name, which are both going to be that max date value. So this gives a, the PDF file file name of that date value. And then another AND symbol to join this to our file extension, which is .pdf. Finally, oh, we need to add a comma for our next parameter and then a space and an underscore to continue on a new line. So the last parameter I want to define is ignore print areas and I want to set that to true. So that is everything we need to do to save that PDF file to this new folder that gets created if it is not, not already out there. So the only other thing we want to do with our if statement is our else condition. If the folder does already exist, we want to do everything we just did except create the new folder because it's already out there. So I'm going to copy everything for the export as fixed format on down. So that should be everything we need here. So we can end our if statement. And now what we can do is run this code. So right now we have a folder, our max date value is February 2012. What I want to do is add a new record here for the 13th to update our values over here in our PDF range because now there shouldn't be a folder with February the 13th so when we run this it should create a new folder after the 12th so I'll go ahead and run this and there is our February 13th folder and a file with the 13th as the file name and our data through the 13th now So the only other thing I want to do here is assign this to a macro button. So the name of our subroutine is called check folders. So we'll go up to developer, insert, and then button. We'll draw it on there. We'll assign it to our subroutine check folders. I'll right click edit the text and just say save to folder. We'll go ahead and add another new record here with February 14th. And when I run this, we should see a new folder for the 14th pop up here. And there it is. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe.